hello teachers in this video i'll guide you as how you can make a examination a test or a quiz for your students using the fliplearn application so teachers as soon as you have logged in into the fliplearn application you have to enter your school so you already know that you have to enter your school by finding the name here so i'm just entering my school just by tapping that name now once i'm on the fliplearn edge platform here of my school so i'll have to go to a specific course wherein i want to create the examination or test so for example i go to my courses and i want to create a test in the science subject so once i've entered into science subject you already know that you need to go and press the turn editing on button so once you have done that now you can see that all the sections and the subtopics mentioned inside the course are now able to be edited now teachers you simply have to find and a button called as add an activity or resource which is always on the top of the particular topic so so for example i want to create a test in a subtopic today which is for example force and pressure so similarly i'll find the button called as add an activity or resource and i'll press it so once i press this button uh, you can see that this particular list shows me what to do now since i want to create a test it is all it is called as quiz on the flipdown application so you can name it as anything what you want so quiz or you want to call it as test or the examination pre boards anything so i'll enter into the quiz section and i'll press the add, add button now once i have entered the form it will it will take me to the new page which asked me to add a new quiz to force and pressure that is the topic now as soon as i want to name this particular test as maybe a test on force right this is this will be the name of my test now if you want to add some description so you can simply add a description of your choice maybe marks will be counted this can be a description of the test okay now teachers coming to the display description on course page meaning which if i tick this so this will actually also show the description which you have just mentioned here on the course page as well now under the timing it tells me when you do you want to open the quiz or close the quiz so if you want to open the quiz uh, for example today so we can just choose the time and date of today and to do that you need to enable this by just pressing the enable date option and i might want to open this test after maybe 10 minutes from now so yeah so i've chosen the time as 20 to 20 now i want to close the quiz by for example i want to give them a time of maybe uh, one day to do this in your case it can be of your choice so maybe i want to close this tomorrow now the time limit if i want to because it's a quiz or exam so i would want to put a time limit also so i can put a time limit as 60 minutes so the student will be given 60 minutes to do this now what to do when the time expires so just let it be like that open attempts are submitted automatically you don't need to change it that's okay now coming to the grade portion teachers now you need to press the grade and you can find the button called as attempts allowed which can be one you don't want to create uh, you don't want the students should attempt it more than one time so just put uh, take it as one question behavior if you want to shuffle within the questions you can that's your choice now under the review option teachers this tells you specifically what happens during the attempt what happens immediately after the attempt later while the quiz is still open and after the quiz is closed so it tells you what the student is going to see after it so for instance I don't want to show the exact marks of the uh, student which whatever he has scored immediately after the attempt so I can just choose not to show marks and even the later version and even after the quiz is closed so I don't want to show any marks because I will be announcing marks later now restrict access means if you want to create it uh, this test for a specific uh, section so you want to create restrict access for example, I am a teacher of two sections only, so I'll just go and press an address restriction and go to the group option 
and I'll choose 8A and I would want to add another group called as 8B but I don't want uh, that the student should be of 8C so here I've only chosen 8A and 8B but for that I'll have to choose this and go to any option so that the student who is of 8A or 8B can see this test. So that's how you need to make sure of it. If you do not want to add any restriction, please, you can just let, let not use this. That's how you can do this. Now, for activity completion teachers, you need to, of course, you need to go and choose it to the third option, for which is called as show activity is complete when conditions are met. So under the camp completion tracking, make sure that show activity is complete when conditions are met as is chosen. This is compulsory step teachers. You also need to choose a student must view this activity to complete this. Now, you can leave the required grade and required grading uh, passing grade and just uh, have a close look here. Ex expect completed on. So this is the date at which the timeline would show that this, this particular test is expected to be completed on. So, for example, I have taken this timing as the closing timing as uh, 7th of January, right? So teachers, I'll go and I'll choose this as, first I'll have to enable it since it's a date. So choose this as maybe 7th, right? And when did I choose it for? So it was 20 to 13. So I'll just keep it the same day, time here and I'll just press the button called as save and display. Now teachers, I have filled the first form of the quiz which asked me about the quiz. Now I'll go into the second form and I'll add questions onto it. Yeah, so you see teachers, this particular test has been made but it has been, no question has been added yet. So I'll just press on the edit quiz button and now I'll add questions. So to do that, I need to add questions by here. So you see add button. So I'll just press the add button. I can take questions from question bank but for the training purpose I am taking you to add a new question you can do that for example I want to add an MCQ type of a question so I'm manually doing it so quickly teachers I'll add a question right and I will add a question called as MCQ for example and I'll write a text as for example this can be what is the capital of India? So this can be now default marks. For example, I can take it for 10 marks. Now one answer or multiple answer since it's a one answer. So I'll just take it as one and first choice would be maybe let's say the Heradun. And since it's a wrong answer, so I'll choose the grade as none. Now, choice number two can be New Delhi. And since it's a correct answer, so I'll choose the grade to be 100%. And as the feedback is correct answer. Now, choice number three can be Bangalore. And the grade be none because it's a wrong answer. And the fourth option can be Bhopal and grade B none. That's how you add a MCQ question to the test teachers. Now I have just saved it. And now I want to add one more question, a new question. Maybe let's say a true false type. So I'll just press the true false question name. It can be true false. Question text can be, uh, what is the currency of true false? So uh, let's say rupees is the currency of India. So teachers are making my sample questions, random questions. You can choose your own question based upon your likes and need. So the answer is correct. So I'm just choosing it that way it and save changes so this question true false question has been added teachers now I'll simply add one more question and let this question be type matching so let's add a question name maybe 
question name as match and text p match the right fence now under the questions i'll maybe say here the answer would be here question number two i eyes sight question number three can be skin to touch now if i want to add more question i can just simply bl add blanks for three more questions but for the sake of time saving i'm, I'm not doing it so this true false question or match the following question has been also added now teachers finally i will also now add a new essay type question which will be this way the question name would be essay type for example or let's call it subjective so i would want students to write about mahatma gandhi on a paper and upload pics picture so this is my question i'll give the marks as 10 10 marks here now response option uh, so here teachers very importantly under response option you need to choose no online text so that the students will only be able to upload a file using this on this answer on this question particular so the student will only be able to upload a picture or a file where he can he can have to write that on the paper and upload a picture so uh, these two will get disabled now allow attachments so you will have to allow the attachments maybe one require attachments attachments are important so require attachment is one so you can maybe allow attachments two to three if you want so require attachment i'm uh, wanting as one this is compulsorily so a student will have to attach at least one attachment now under the accepted file type let's choose and all let, let's choose the all file types and press save changes that's all teachers that's all you need to do you have to create one essay type question so all the kind of four questions you have created so teachers that's how you uh, do that now finally if you just want to see the uh, check the marking so 10 so i will just quickly change this to 10 marks again so i'll make it as 10 marks now this is saved now in total if you say total of marks is 40 but under maximum grade you need to match this so just write 40 here as well and save so the moment you save the test teachers now this test has been saved and you can find this test under the timeline of the students and also under the event sections now this is how you have to make test teachers now if you want to have a look as how this test is going to look so you can just simply go to the particular uh, topic by maybe just pressing maybe a uh, uh, CB is the subject which you have made the test in. It's going to be the very really e the easiest way to go to the subject which you have uh, created this test in and press the menu option, the black button here, and go to this course. The moment you press the this course button and you go to quizzes, you will see that, yeah. So this test will be made. And I'll show you here test on force. You can see test on force. Now, if you want to execute this test and see how this test is going to look, so you need to just find the test here. So preview quiz now. So once you press the preview quiz button and you start the attempt, you can see that how the test is going to look. So I'll just choose the right answer for this one. And I'll not maybe choose the right answer for the match. And I'll see next question. So right see have a look write about Mahatma Gandhi on a paper and upload the picture that was a question and I can only see an option to add a file so how do you add a file it's by just pressing this button
Now, each student have to go to upload a file. So once they have to upload a file and press the button choose file here and take a photo. Maybe take a photo. So simply if they can, uh, maybe, this, maybe this is the answer sheet. Just click a photo and use as photo. Now because since it's my answer sheet, so I can save it as my name, which is summer. And that's all, and that's all teachers, the student will have to do. And just press the button, call this, upload this file. And this file is now getting saved. So this is the process how you can create the test, how the student is going to view the test. In another video, I'll show you how the student in the student ID will see in the timeline and will now attempt the test. And then we will see that how you can see the, uh, the, the responses which the student has made and check the file. So I'll keep this video till here and I'll just press the submit test button. So this is how the student is going to do that. And finally, the student has to press the submit all and finish button to completely attempt the test. So teachers, you can, this is the preview of your how you have created this, the test and how the student is going to view it. So this is how it is teachers. So this was my uh, essay type picture, which I have just clicked, right? And, and that's the way you will actually see the attempts of the student. So in another video teachers, I will cover how the students is going to have a look in the uh, in the particular timeline and they will be able to attempt the test. So I'll keep the video till here. Thank you so much for watching teachers. I hope you have got the clarity. If you have queries, please put the queries in the comment sections. We'll be really happy to help you.